What's up Route Nation, it's Armando, we're back at it again. Today I want to give you a high level overview of the Route platform, specifically walkthroughs. We'll be discussing pre-templated facility types, how to share a walkthrough internally after it's been finished, how to add that into your calendar, and what area cards look like. Here we go. First, when you log into Route, the first thing you, that you'll see is anything that you have scheduled for this week, last week, or anything that you have upcoming, anything from jobs, walkthroughs or inspections but in today's video we're going to focus on walkthroughs so how do you create a walkthrough great question at the top right hand side of the route app you'll actually see a plus icon you'll go ahead and click on that and you'll see three options walkthroughs jobs or inspections this allows you to create one or the other for today's video we're going to go ahead and create a walkthrough so once you click on walkthrough, this is what you'll see. You'll see client, category, schedule date, notes, and tasks. However, we'll go ahead and focus in on creating a new client because we're considering this being a new prospect calling into your office for your services. Click add new client down at the bottom, which will lead you to this screen. Here, we're able to create the client name, type in their address, and also select their facility type. In doing so, what's happening is we've already pre-templated all the, the facilities that you would see in our space from your healthcare facilities, bars, restaurants, office space, or a gym. Whatever the case may be, it's already been pre-templated. So once you've actually created the walkthrough and you're going through it, you'll see area cards according to that facility that you've designated this client to be. So we'll go ahead and do that, which will lead us back to this page here. We'll go ahead and select the category, which is the services that we're actually providing this prospective client. We'll go ahead and select the date, add any additional notes. So if you wanna add in who the facility manager is, the point of contact, their phone number, et cetera, you can go ahead and do so here. You'll also add in any tasks. So if there's any specific questions that you wanna ensure that you ask while on site, you can go ahead and add that in there. Next, we'll go ahead and click done, which will lead us to this here. You'll see it scheduled for the date that you've designated for this specific walkthrough. But once you arrive on site, what you're able to do is go ahead and click on that walkthrough, which will lead us to this page here. Here, you'll see any notes that you've already pre-entered while creating the walkthrough. You'll see any task, anything that you wanna ensure that you get done while on site. And then you'll also see these area cards here. Now, these area cards show up specifically because you've chosen this type of facility for this prospect of clients. Again, we chose this one to be an office, so you'll see things like your conference room, your hallways, your offices, et cetera, et cetera. However, had we chosen this to be a healthcare facility, you would have seen exam rooms and nurse stations, laboratory, et cetera, et cetera. Um, again, everything's already pre-templated, so be sure to select the right type of facility for your prospect of clients. Next, you'll see the start bar down at the bottom. If you slide that to the right, this is doing two things. First, it's creating a timestamp on when you've actually arrived on site and it's keeping track of how long it's actually taken to complete the walkthrough. Second, it's actually kicking you into this offline mode, which is, which is allowing you to take all the data, take record of all data, pictures, notes, etc even if you don't have cellular connectivity. What that's doing, it's, it's allowing you to keep it on your device until you go ahead and slide done or finished, which will then kick it into the web app. Again, we're making sure that you're not losing any data while on site performing the walkthrough. Now, if we scroll back up to the top, we'll go ahead and select one of these area cards, which will then bring us here. This here is giving us the room name, the room type, it allows us to capture all measurements. So with the laser measuring tape, whatever the case may be, however it is that you take measurements currently, we wanna encourage you to do so uh, here and record that data within route. We're also able to capture the floor type, which is important if we wanna aggregate the total square footage and then break it down by floor type. We could also add in fixtures. So within a lobby space, if you wanna go ahead and capture how many desks there are, how many plants, plaques, chairs, etc you can absolutely do so. This is allowing you to measure the density of the space in order for you to bid it properly. Right below that, what you'll see is a note section. So within those fixtures that you see within the lobby, if there's any specific tasks outside of your regular scope of work that you would typically perform within that area, you wanna go ahead and capture that there. So if they say, move the big red chair daily, dust, plaques, whatever the case may be, you can absolutely do capture those notes here within this space. Now, last functionality here. 
is you can go ahead and take pictures of the space in order for you to get a visual once you've left the site. You always wanna make sure you get a visual aside from your notes, your dimensions, etc. Be sure to do so, because it's a fun functionality to add in once we get to our proposals. We'll talk about that next. Once you've completed this area, you wanna go ahead and select the next area and proceed forward, filling out every area card in order for you to capture the notes, the dimensions, the pictures that you need per this space. Now, once we finish filling out the area cards, you can go ahead and slide that bar indicating that you have finished, which is then gonna upload all the information that you've just taken on your device into the web app. Now, once you have done so, you'll get the green check mark indicating that it's been successfully uploaded into the web app. So now that we've successfully uploaded this into the web app, what you can do is you can scroll to the top and you'll see a sharing functionality, a sharing icon at the top right hand side. What this will allow you to do is share this document, this walkthrough via email, text, you can actually post it on Facebook if you like, tag your supervisors, whomever you'd like, you can share it any way possible which will allow your internal team to take a look at this walkthrough and bid it appropriately. Also, additionally, what you can do is you can add this into your Google Calendar so you won't forget when to perform your walkthrough. Lastly, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see that we were able to capture the full aggregate square footage of this space and then route will actually break it down by floor type. This is great and a fun functionality, especially if you have additional services that you provide as an organization for your carpet cleaning, tiling, grout, whatever the case may be. You have the dimensions in order for you to quote that appropriately based on your price per square foot. That's all we have for today, Route Nation. However, on our next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this data and simply create a proposal all done on the web app. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe here, like there. We'll see you next time.